Hey everybody. I'm gonna show you how to fit your orthotics into your shoes and how to use them properly. There's a break-in process. I wanna warn you in advance that if you try to cut your orthotics on your own before watching the video, it, you know you may do some damage that you don't wanna do. Uh, so be, make sure you watch this video in its entirety. Also, if you don't do everything to break your feet into the orthotics, you know, we say break in your orthotics, but what you're really doing is breaking in your feet to the orthotics. So it's a little bit of a different thing. So there's certain things you have to do. If you do it wrong, it's going to set you back. So it's a two week process. I'm going to spell it out for you right now. But once you do break them in and you get through these next two weeks, you're going to love your orthotics. You won't want to live without them. They're going to be supportive. They're going to amaze you at how much longer you can stand, how much further you can walk or run and your back won't bother you. Even your neck, everything above your feet is going to feel better and stronger and more stable. So you're going to love it. So you're going to get your orthotics in a packet that looks like this. Uh, you'll open it and pull the orthotic out so it'll look like something like this. Um, it'll have the three arch supports. If your heel tends to tilt, it'll support that as well. Our orthotics are flexible because I want your feet to be able to move as you walk and run or step on uneven surfaces. Your feet tell your brain where the ground is so you can um, uh, adjust to that. Now, so so these are my uh, stinky sneakers here and uh, I brought them in. Now, you, normally sneakers like this or, or typical shoes, they have an insole that's in them that come with the manufacturer. So mine, I have thrown that away, but I have my actual orthotics in here. So I'm gonna pretend this came with the, ortho with the, with the shoe. So just imagine these are brand new and I just got these open the box, pull them out, and I pull out the insole. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the orthotics I just bought can fit into my shoe. Now, what happens is a lot of times the orthotics that, that foot levelers uh, will make for you will be fit to your foot. So it's a, that's why you have to be wearing the right size shoe because we just, we scanned your feet. So we know exactly how large your feet are and then when they get that data, they take 22 calibrated measurements from each foot. So when they make this brand new orthotic for you, it's fit to you. It should fit into your shoe just fine. But in case it doesn't, let's say that the toe bed is curved in or, or narrower in the front and you need to do some trimming, you never ever trim the back. Stop falling. Only trim the top. Does that make sense? Only trim where the toes go. Never ever trim below where the toes would go. Make sense? Very important, never trim below this area, only up here. You can trim the sides if you have to, if you need to take a little off the top because it's not fitting in. So the first thing you do is when you get your orthotic, just stick it in your shoe, see if it fits. You know, Or better yet, take the one you just pulled out and line up the back, so it would be this one. Line them up at the heel, back to back, and do one of these things. Now you notice the orthotics I'm showing as a sample are actually smaller than my feet. So just imagine this is the insole that we took out that we're gonna throw away, and this is the orthotic that we just bought that we need to fit into our shoe. So what I do is I line up the heel, like I'm showing you, and then right up here, I'll take a pen or a pencil, and I'll draw a line, just like that. Does that make sense? You can actually draw that line so you can see it. When you draw that line, that's the line you're going to use to cut around. So, so let's say, and I'll just move it up. Just pretend I've got it lined up because it's never going to be a big discrepancy. If it's a big discrepancy, you probably bought a shoe that's too small for you. Now remember, running shoes have to be at least a size larger because your feet kind of expand. The minute you start running, your feet will swell and expand a little bit. You need that room. So you probably have the wrong size shoe. But you just draw this line. You see, see that line right there? And all you would do is you take the scissors and you just start cutting around where that line is. And now it matches the uh, insole that just pulled out and you slide it right in. It should fit perfectly. The heel should be kind of snug and it should be stuck to the very bottom. If it slides in your shoe, it's too small. Either your shoe is too big for you or um, it's just the wrong shoe. So, so either way, the orthotic has to be a snug fit in the back. And that's the same if it's a dress shoe or if it's athletic shoes, same thing. Now, some dress shoes um, don't have an insole that slides out. For those, we have this type of 
orthotics, which is shorter length. These can sit right on top of your shoe, your, your shoe bed. You just put it right in. Now, you're thinking it's smaller than my shoe, so it's gonna slide around. You're 100% right. That's why they come with these Velcro dot fasteners, genius. So you, what you do is you, you'll get a strip like this. And by the way, if you run out, you can just get more from us. We'll order more for you. But you, you Velcro that like this. Then you peel the back off and it's adhesive. You may need nails to do it. There we go. So now this is adhesive right here. So what you do is you put this in the shoe, you wanna slide it all the way to the back. So this lines up with the back of the shoe where the heel goes. You set it down and you press. You put your foot on it, you stand on it. That makes this part adhere completely to the bottom. And by the way, it's a really good idea to clean that area before you put this on. If there's dust, it won't stick as well. These are really strong adhesives, so they will stick well. They are pretty fairly permanent. It takes a lot to peel them off. So you put them on and they'll stick like that. Then when you're taking the orthotic off, this part stays in your shoe. And anytime you wanna put your orthotic in that shoe, you stick it on and it velcros to it. If you wanna move it between shoes, you have a whole row of these to use in different shoes. Now, from a standpoint of getting used to these orthotics, this is the really, really, really critical part. You can't just put them in your shoe and put your foot in there and start walking. That's not how it works. You've got to get used to these orthotics. Most people will say the first day they got their orthotics, when they stood on them, felt like they were standing on rocks and it was uncomfortable. If that is the case, you just put, put them on, don't stand on them, sit and watch TV or sit at your desk up to an hour, then take them off, put the old insole back in. Up to an hour, never more than an hour. Now, if they bothered your feet, even if you're not standing on them, they start to bother your feet. It just doesn't feel good. It doesn't even hurt yet, but it just doesn't feel good. Take them out. Let's say it's only been 10 minutes, doesn't matter, take them out. Then you wait 24 hours and you start, try again. You put them in, you put your feet in there. Now hopefully you can last 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And you start adding time every day until you can wear them all day. Very important. The critical piece to this whole thing is the minute they bother your feet, you have to take them out. If you leave your feet in your shoe while the orthotics are bothering your feet, your feet will get inflamed. They will reject the orthotics. Now you have to stop wearing them for a week to 10 days so the inflammation goes down and then you have to start all over. Well, for 10 days, you're not gonna have those orthotics and sets you back, you don't want that. So what you wanna do is make sure you're very, very diligent. The minute they bother your feet, you pull them out, you put the old soles back in and you go about your day and start again the next day. Always carry those old soles around with you for those first two weeks. Now, if they don't bother your feet at all, at the end of the 60 minutes, you take them out and put the old soles back in. Even if they're not bothering you, one hour is the max on the first day. On the second day, if they don't bother you, three hours is the max. No more than three hours. Even if they're not bothering you, listen carefully. They're not bothering you. They feel fine. You've been walking on them. You've been wearing them. Right at the three-hour mark, you take the orthotics out, put them back in their box, put your old soles back in. The next day, three hours. The first week, you are not allowed to wear your orthotics longer than three hours. A lot of people come in and say, it didn't bother me, so I wore it all day. Well, then a couple days later, they're bothering them. Now we can't get them to get comfortable anymore. Now we have to take a week off and start over from the beginning. Just do the process. It's only a week. Now, on the second week, you can start adding an hour. Go to four hours, go to five hours, six hours, eight hours, all day. And once you can wear them all day, you're done. You're finished. Now. There's two exercises you have to do to help you get used to these orthotics. The first one is you need something to break up adhesions in the bottom of your feet. Everybody has knots and 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 you know um, fibers that that are that that are sticking and knotted up and tense, and you got to loosen all that up and get all the little bones moving. One of the best ways to do it is you can take a golf ball, uh, a solid golf ball. You put it on the ground, you put your foot on it, you press a little bit while you're sitting. If you're watching TV or something, just roll your foot around on that golf ball, loosen up the bottom of the foot. Or you can use one of these things. Um, 
put this on the ground, put your foot on it, press, roll around, find some tender spots, press a little harder, just kind of roll and massage the bottom of your foot. You have to do it for five minutes per foot per day for those two weeks. No exception. Very important. You loosen up your foot so your foot can break in to the orthotics. Now, the second exercise you have to do is you need to take a water bottle, put it in the freezer. Once it's frozen, you put that on the ground, put your foot on it, and you roll up and down on that ice bottle to ice your feet to reduce inflammation. The golf ball, when it breaks up those adhesions, it creates some inflammation. Doing that will reduce the inflammation. If you don't have five minutes, and this is critical, everybody's you know short on time, you think about it, five minutes this foot with the golf ball, then five minutes this foot with the golf ball, then five minutes this foot with the ice bottle, then five minutes this foot with the ice bottle. What you could do is save time, and if you get one of these, you put this in the freezer, it will stay cold for the entire time. Just put this down, Just now it's just five minutes per foot and you're done. If you get two of them, you can put both foot on at the same time, five minutes total, you're done. So anyways, that's why we recommend these. These are, these are really great. They are um, offered right here at the office. So when you pick up your orthotics, you can pick one of those up too. But the, the golf ball will work just fine if you're, if you're okay with that. Two weeks of this, you have to do it. Now a lot of people get this, continue to do it because it just feels really good. It takes away all the stress from your feet at the end of the day. So if you get that, it's not just for the two weeks. I would recommend you do five minutes on it every day at the end of the day. I mean, it's like getting yourself a, a nice, really deep foot massage every single day and it'll serve you really well. Hopefully all of this helped you. That's a lot of information. Watch the video again if you have to. What I shared with you, it comes in a written sheet that uh, of instructions for you as well. So you can just read through it if you want. Stick to the plan, do it right. You're gonna love your orthotics. Please call us if you have any questions. Enjoy.